guys once we are done with our uh, creating a new project how to write test bench for our code okay so this is uh, what we have seen in the last uh, video like i have created a new project for alu and i have just copied a code for alu and i have assigned a pin for alu so in any user file you can see the okay then generate a program files and configure the target device okay so in this video i am going to explain you how to write a test bench for this particular code okay so write a code test bench for uh, ALU, for bit ALU. Okay. So all the steps we have done in last video are comes under the implementations. Okay. Under the implementations. Now we are supposed to do the simulation. Okay. At the time of creating new project, we have already selected uh, the simulator as iSim. Okay. So just go to simulation. Okay. Just go to simulation. We are going to do the simulation using iSim. Okay. Just go to simulation. Okay then you can see the your vhdl file okay so alu underscore for bit dot vhd file okay make sure you are in a simulation okay when you are supposed to use a ic okay so this simulation process can be possible once the synthesis is done it is not mandatory there you are supposed to do implement design generate program file and then go to simulation okay once you are done with simulation uh, sorry synthesis once the synthesis is available with green tea you can directly go to simulation do the simulation if simulation is correct then come to implement design generate program file and then configure the target device. this is the something we have followed at the time of practicals okay so just synthesize the device okay so sorry synthesize the code and just simply go to simulation okay so simulation in that you can see device and your vhd file okay so just click right click on your vhd file okay right click on vhd file say new source okay here you can see the vhdl test bench okay vhdl test bench okay provide the name okay provide the name okay suppose i am writing a test bench for alu so i am going and provide a name as going to provide a name as alu underscore tbw okay make sure our clear click is on vhdl test bench and not on very lock test feature okay your click should be on vhdl test bench just say next next finish okay so this xilinx tool will automatically provide you a test bench okay whole test bench okay so you are supposed to write uh, the further code in this particular section but i have available already available a test bench for alu so i am just going to select it copying it and pasting in this particular section okay so i will be going to save it okay once you will save it you can see your tvw code is available here okay so alu alu underscore tbw dot vhd okay just click on icm simulator check the syntax okay check the syntax okay so once you use the syntax are correct then you can simulate the behavioral model of your vhd code okay so according to your test bench you have for different inputs provided you will get a output in a simulated behavioral model okay so here you can see the test bench output is available this waveform is called as a test bench waveform tbw test bench waveform okay so i'm just going to click on a zoom to full view okay and here you can see so the whole output is available here but it, this is not a part of our interest okay so what we can do just i'm going to click on this particular somewhere where i'm supposed to do the zoom in okay so i'll just click here and i'm just going to click on a plus sign, okay so here you can see Okay, after clicking on pulse this is your input one input two this is the op op means operation you have selected as addition and that's why you are getting result at zero and like you get all the stuff you can cross check whether you are getting the operations results correct or not okay so what is important thing is here suppose you want to change the radix of this particular op n1 or n2 okay so how to change the radix means this is available in uh, right now available in binary format you are supposed to change it to decimal hex okay so I just click, uh, sorry, select the particular uh, port you are supposed to change the radix. Okay, so I want to change the radix of all the four five ports. So I am I've selected all the five ports. Just click on this radix. Okay, and here you can see the different radix available with you. Suppose I want the radix as unsigned decimal. Okay, so I am just going to click on unsigned decimal. Suppose I want the radix as a hex. So I'll click on hex. Okay, so this is how exactly you can change the radix according to uh, experiments like in FIFO experiment to make the output visible we are supposed to display the output in hex 
so like this so you can change the radix okay so right now once again we have changed to binary binary only yes uh, radix and binary okay. so by default binary so here you can see suppose you want to change the well check the values at this particular instance just click here so wherever the marker is available you can see the corresponding values here like in this part at this particular instant of cursor what is the value of n1 at this particular instant of cursor what is the value of n2 op and result and slide okay so just suppose you want to check the values available at this instant so just click here all the values available at markers are available at this particular value instead okay so the one important another thing is that you are when you are uh, supposed to take a printout of this particular okay you are supposed to go to edit okay because with black background is not clearly visible so just go to black uh, edit and go to preference okay in prefer preferences you can see colors okay icm simulator colors okay in that select a, so i have already created a new schematic so that's why i am selecting new schematic in that i have already chosen a white background and all that stuff so i'll just say okay and here you can see the automatically background is white okay if this is not the um, suitable option one more is available so just i'm going to uh, exit the application okay, no okay what else you can do okay what else you can do okay so, so i will once again change the preference to default okay so i'll change the preference to default so okay okay so once again the preference default default apply okay Next, what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to just simply take a print screen of it, using print screen key, okay. go to paint, okay, just paste it here, right click on it and say invert a color, okay, so here one more option is also available for invert a color, okay, so this is all you are supposed to do at the time of exam to take a print screen, okay, so this is how exactly you are supposed to do the um, simulation of your code okay so this is all that i want to text to you i hope you understood all the things thank you